morning, everybody, from cold and snowy central Indiana. It's 28 degrees this morning. Turkey Run State Park. I know we usually boondock, but we thought electric might be it a might little be helpful. better last night. It might night. be helpful. Yeah. So we're here at Turkey Run State Park, but we're not going to spend much time here today. We are going to use this for a launching point to go out and see some small towns around this area. So I hope you guys join us. I got to say one thing, though. Look at those people over there. We had one person camping, or a couple camping here last night, and they're in a tent. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. Whoo, man, it must have been cold last but boy, night. Boy, did they have a huge fire. They had a huge fire going last yeah. night. So, All right, let's jump back in the van where it's warm and get going. or not that was Nancy's first time driving <laughs> <laughs> driving <laughs> Jack <laughs> I had to sit on a pillow put the seat all the way up and the steering wheel all the way down as low as it would go so I could see over the dash <laughs> <laughs> we've had this we've had this van for a few months now and Nancy has never drove it and she decided she's gonna drive across the uh, covered bridge and it's it, so. fun all right on to our next adventure I have no idea what what we're gonna see next but uh, here we You'll go on down the us. road <laughs> Wilkins Mill bridge built in 1906 by William Hendricks so this was a different builder than the last bridge right. we were on so. but this has a bed and breakfast Watkins Mill bed and breakfast yeah mm -hmm. right yep so if you want to come and stay like right along the banks and I guess you can canoe and stuff there's a summer. lot of canoe uh, rental places yeah, around here yeah not this time of year <laughs> no I'm surprised uh, it's not frozen but it's so weird. this area of Indiana has tons of covered bridges in it because uh, this one's what a mile two miles from the, from other, the one. other one yeah so yeah. they would have um, there's a big covered bridge festival here every year and everything in this area of the state. So it's pretty cool. First two weekends of October, of course, they didn't have it last year because of COVID, blah, blah, blah. But that's something to check out. Mm -hmm. We need to do a, a video Co on a that. Covered bridge. Yeah, yep. yeah, it's fun. All right, we're gonna take a look at this really quick and then get back in the van where it's hey, nice and warm. Lots of shopping too at that covered bridge festival. <laughs> All right, let's go. This bridge is a lot shorter than the last bridge that uh, we were on and uh, no window in the middle, but it still crosses uh, Sugar Creek nonetheless. Looks a little narrower too than uh, the other one, but uh, it's pretty cool that these things are built and they, you know, survived the test of time. Here we are in Kingman, Indiana, not to be confused with Kingman, Arizona, because this little town doesn't even have one stoplight. People just run right through town. <laughs> uh, they say the population here is less than 500, but they've got a neat little hardware store, gift shop, and a grocery store down there. So anyway, pretty interesting little town as we travel here through central Indiana. So this town was founded in 1900. Shortly after 1903, the bank was established here. So the building's still here today. It's pretty cool. They got a post office and uh, a high school. Pretty cool water tower, but uh, we're enjoying looking around. Okay, everybody, we are in Cayuga, Indiana. It's a little small town and... Very small town. <laughs> yeah. 
But hey, they have a Dollar General, don't they all? Every small town's got one in Indiana, it seems like. it's crazy. So, um, we just thought we'd take a second here and show you um, one of the reasons why we like our adventure van, even though it's not about that. Um, Nancy's able to come back here. We're just pulled over here on Main Street at the side of the road, and uh, we're making us some salads to eat. It's snowing outside, but... Uh, it's nice and toasty in here with our heater going. Yeah, I had to turn it down. <laughs> she, she's sitting right next to the vent, so it gets a little warm over there. But uh, anyway, that's um, that's what we thought we'd show you. Is uh, Nancy's making some salad. Herky's down here begging for crumbs on the floor, <laughs> and um, As we're gonna eat, and then we'll show you a little bit of this town, and we got another little town we're headed over to after that. Bon appetit. So this is typical of the little small towns that you see here in Indiana. Um, you've seen us take take you to some of the county seats and things like that. There's a lot of little towns like this that are just really across in the road, uh, less than 500 people, and uh, they always have two or three churches and you know this little community center uh, over here. They had the Lions Club, but there's something um, interesting that thought I'd show you guys. Some of you folks that live in the city might not uh, might not know this, but um, here in Indiana, there's a lot of people in the rural areas uh, that don't have, you know, they don't have water, so they have a um, you know something to hold, uh, you know, water, a cistern or something at their house. A gentleman just left here, and he had a tank in the back of his pickup truck, and. This works similar to a car wash or something like that. So you, uh, it's called the automatic water salesman. So you come here and you put your, uh, you put your quarters in there. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the cost is on this one. They don't have a sign here, but uh, you put your quarters in here and then you put this on the top of your tank and you fill your water tank up. So it's just a spot here in town that those that can, live out in the rural areas can come in and fill their water tanks up so uh thought you might find that interesting uh it's right here at the cayuga lions club so uh neat little town in you know in indiana so we're gonna jump back in the car i'm gonna run up here to main street the they don't really have a stoplight they have a flashing red light so let's go down here and take a look at this so here in cayuga they have a uh you know, a grain elevator here. It sits right next to the railroad track, but you know, you can imagine this place has been going for years and years, and uh, farmers can bring their grain here, and it gets dried and loaded on the trains and that. So, uh, this is just right off Main Street, just a little town on the tracks here. Um, what we're going to do next is Nancy's going to run up to Main Street, and we're going to take a look at that. But we're only a block away from that. See behind us is the grain elevator Ed was telling you about, and you hear Herky because he is mad. But we are actually parked in the bank parking lot. This is the bank. Across the street is a Chevrolet dealer. And I find it interesting, the front of the building Ed needs to show you because etched in it is the Chevrolet emblem. The bow tie. Yes, the bow tie. Anyway, some fascinating, beautiful old buildings, but most of them are empty, which is so sad. So anyway, here we are. This is Main Street, the bank, as I said. And that's the Chevy dealer across the street. And Ed needs to go down and show you the bow tie that is built into the brick uh, outdoor of the, of the building. Hey, they have a bar here. You didn't cover the bar. Oh. I get Sam's Pub here. Yeah, um, and you know what? Every little town, they have a Dollar General and they have at least one pub. Have you noticed that? <laughs> yeah, and a bank and a post office. Yeah. That, those are those things. All right, this is it. This is Cayuga. Yeah, but I don't think you need to read the sign above the pub, but you could. I'll take a picture of it. Yeah.
Vermilion County Courthouse. Right behind us, limestone, and you know, from Indiana. So we've got something really unique to show you in this town called Newport, Indiana. We actually had planned for you guys to join us here this summer. Yeah, October. Oh, was it October? Uh -huh. Anyway, they have a, what's called an antique car hill climb. We actually had planned on coming here and for the events for the whole weekend. And of course it got canceled because of COVID. So we're gonna take you today. The town is barely anybody here today because it's a weekend. But um, hey, what the deal is in 1915, they started a hill climb race here. So antique cars would all line up and climb up the hill. Today, this is the second largest auto racing event in the state of Indiana. Guess what number one is? The Indianapolis 500. I think so. So over 100,000 people come here every year to watch the antique car hill climb. So, And we're at the starting line. We're at the we're gonna starting take line. We're going to over and show you. <laughs> hey, Ed's going to get down and kiss the ground like no, they do I'll tell at you the what we're gonna do. We're going to take Jack and little dude up the hill. That'll be fun. <laughs> All right, let's take a look around. All right, here it is. One, two, three, four. They line up. There's the start, and they go up that hill. Come on, we're gonna take you up and show you. All right, here's mine and Herky's big debut as race car drivers. Here we go. So really quick here, I want to take a map here and let you see that here's the Indianapolis metropolitan area over here. This is Illinois. And so what you've seen us doing today is just right here in this park, Vermilion and Fountain County areas. Um, you've seen us this, this morning, we spent the night at Turkey Run State Park and we just kind of snaked around through some back roads here uh, if you remember, we went to uh, up there through Fountain County, and we are also down here in all those little towns, Lodi. Um, oh, I can't remember all the places we went today, but this is kind of the area of the country we're at right, right now. And uh, right now we're over here near Cayuga and Newport, and we are just ending our day. We're running out of daylight, but want to capture really quick where we've been today. We are losing daylight fast. This time of year, you don't have a lot of daytime. Mm -mm. So, when it's already overcast and cloudy and cold. My word, it's cold. So, Herc is all snuggled up here on my lap because we took his little area out. So, anyway. Hey, we hope you enjoyed our day today. Just kind of tooling around some back roads here in Indiana. Seeing a few small towns and some covered bridges. We hope you really like that. If you will, subscribe to our channel and watch. We have more adventures to come. Thanks for watching today. Now it's time to walk this dog because he is lazy. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you next week. Bye.